Okay, now you are again with uh, our teaching and learning uh, YouTube channel. Right. In last video, we discussed about the uh, PowerPoint that uh, or how to open the PowerPoint and uh, how insert the uh, slides and how insert the text, uh, those types of things we discussed earlier one. Right. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about uh, more about the uh, PowerPoint. Uh, here that first, uh, some of the formatting we discussed last uh, video. Uh, here I am going to start from uh, some other formattings available in the PowerPoint. That uh, one is if you want to change the color, uh, color of the text, then again, uh, see how you can uh, change the color of the text here. The first thing is you want to select, select the text, right? Uh, select mean uh, move your mouse to the text area, mouse pointer. This mouse pointer move uh, your uh, move to the text area and click on it. Right, click on it. Once you click, then you can see a, a box around the text. This box is dotted, dotted line there. That makes sure uh, instead of dotted line, right, that uh, box should be in a straight. If you are in dotted mean, uh, your formatting is not affected with the text. Therefore, make sure uh, that dotted line is straight. Uh, if it is dotted line, then again click on the uh, dotted line in this area. Once you click on, then what happens? That clearly you can see that dotted line become the uh, straight line. Right? If you want to do formatting, make sure your box is in straight. Then only you can uh, use the formatting, various type of formatting. Right. Then if you want to change the color, then again, you can go to the uh, formatting area. Uh, in Under Home tab, go to the font uh, font group. In the font group, you, uh, you are having uh, in here, you are having the font color icon. In right corner, right down corner, you are having, uh, look at, uh, the place where my mouse is around in. This is called this icon called font color. Then there's a small arrow. Click on the arrow here. Then you can see all the color available with PowerPoint. Now you can see one of the color. Suppose you want to uh, change this uh, color into red, then select the red. Right? Now you move your mouse uh, to the color which you want to change, it is in the red, click on it. Once you click on there, now you can see uh, that previously black color change into the red. And then suppose you want to change uh, only this hardware, only the uh, computer hardware is a text, only you want to change the color in the hardware section. Right? Then you want to select only the hardware part. In that case, go take your mouse, move your mouse to the hardware in this text. Uh, click on the starting of the text. That means in uh, near H, H, click on the H. Once you click, then uh, the cursor appear. Now drag it. That means select. Now you can see the highlight in the text. That means drag it. After highlighting the required text, then release the mouse button. Right now, that uh, immediately you release the mouse button, there is a additional bar uh, appear uh, here. That's actually the formatting bar. Uh, in this time, no need to go to the uh, home tab and uh, the font group. The straight you can use that bar. Instead, uh, the look at again, select here, then release the mouse. Immediately after you release the mouse, this uh, shortcut bar is available. From this shortcut bar, you can do uh, various types of formatting again. Right? Again, look at the point here. Select the text, then release the mouse. Right? Now, if you want to bold, italic, underline, change in the font size, all of these formatting is available here. Then if you want to change the color, uh, go to this font color. 
click on the drop down arrow then uh, select one of the color you like to change right then i am selected the green color uh, then it appear as green right that's the way how you can add in the uh, text to on your slide right now we'll see how can insert the uh, bullets and numbers it is very important when you are presenting project or uh, when you are uh, teaching something to the students then this list 10 bullets are very important right for example suppose uh, you have in a uh, subject list right uh, suppose you have five subject uh, or uh, for example regarding that uh, suppose another example that's uh, linked with this computer hardware right then you want to uh, suppose you have a list uh, input device list here then how you are going to insert the input devices that mean keyboard mouse barcode reader like that you want to insert a list right that first get a text box go to the drawing group then select textbook text box then uh, come to the slide area then insert the text box right then any size you can uh, select any size then uh, release the mouse button once you release the mouse button the text box appear on the slide right now you can start typing uh, now i want to insert the input devices list the first one keyboard keyboard then a mouse first type it right then you can do the format after you uh, write in everything finally you can do the uh, format you need that first you need to type it right mouse then barcode reader and barcode reader then uh, mic uh, pen light pen right suppose uh, these are the my uh, input devices here this is the list right but uh, in the slide you want uh, design in this way, right because uh, you are in front of an audience they need uh, to see everything in very large Right. therefore you want to format it that first try to uh, increase the font size font size of the uh, this list again select right suppose in your uh, in this like that then first you want to move your mouse to the uh, this text area then click on it once you click then you can appear the box around the box make sure this box the lines are straight Sometimes these lines are dotted that earlier I mentioned it. Make sure that uh, lines are straight. Right. Now, okay. Uh, go to the font area under home tab. Go to the font group. Right. Now you are going to increase the font size. Therefore, you want to select this font size. Font size icon. Uh, they are having small arrow. They are having a small arrow. They are uh, having a small arrow here. Click on the arrow. Now you can see the uh, numbers. Uh, click the number, uh, the size where you want to insert, where you want to apply. And suppose in 32. Now you are uh, increasing the size. At the same time, uh, here look at uh, now you are going to insert the bullets the bullets mean uh, kind of points right you want to add kind of point here right the first thing is you want to select the area where you want to insert the bullet the first thing is you want to select the area where you want to insert the bullet i want to uh, insert bullet for this list 
this input device list. Therefore, I am going to select all the list. Right? How you are going to select it? By clicking the mouse. Click on the mouse at the first text. Right? At the first uh, word here, key. Right Now click on the mouse and uh, without releasing the button, drag it. Right. Now you can see that selected area. Right. To insert the bullets, you want to uh, go to the paragraph group, then where it is. Right. The paragraph group is available in the home. Click on the home tab. Again, uh, check this from uh, groups, ribbon groups, clipboard, slides, font. Right, the near uh, the next to font group available paragraph. Right, in the paragraph group uh, about the alignment area, you are having the uh, bullets icon. This is the bullet icons. Right, once you uh, get your mouse to that area, then it automatically says the bullet. This is the bullet icon. Again, that's a small arrow. Click on the arrow. Now you can see the bullet types. Now you can see one of the uh, type here. You are interested in bullet type. Suppose uh, this one. Select this one and click on it. Once you click on the selected bullet, now that particular type uh, bullet type you can appear in the list. Now insert in the uh, bullets on your on your uh list here right in here actually uh, this list is not attractive every time when you are design the presentation make sure your presentation is attractive it should be maximum attractive then only your audience uh, uh encouraged to follow your topic right therefore every time where you are creating the presentation it should be very attractive one but still this one is not attractive this list is not attractive uh, if you want to make attractive by doing these type of things right uh, first thing is here suppose uh, this bullet and the word right? in between there's a small space if you want to uh, give some distance right keep some distance or increase the distance between this bullet and the word, then it will be uh, more attractive. Right. Then suppose how you can increase the uh, increase this distance. Right. Now move your mouse to the list area. Click on it. Once you click, then you can see the uh, box around the there. Right. Now click on the uh, first word key in here once you click here right then again look at here right move your mouse to the first where key here click on here right once you click then what happened what are the things you observe again right before uh, clicking that look at again that uh, look at this ruler right there is a, a two rulers in both side horizontal and vertical then look at the uh, this ruler and the other side there is another rule once i click on the key k here then what happened to the ruler right it is changed not like the previous one here having some tabs right if you want to increase it then you can increase or decrease the distance between this bullets and the word by using this tab Right. Before that one thing, you want to select the list. Right. First, select the list. That whole list you want to select like that. Then go to the tabs here by clicking the tab, this uh, right tab here by clicking it. Once you click it, then dotted line, line you can appear. Uh, now, you can move this bullet uh, to the front like that suppose your distance you want to stop in that way in that point then release the button now you can see that's the one thing to make interactive uh, make uh, attractive 
the presentation. Suppose another way, that means uh, the uh, line, the distance between words, right? This distance between words is not uh, sufficient. Now we are going to uh, set some uh, line distances. Again, select the list you want to select in that way. Right. Uh, now go to the paragraph group, paragraph group. In the paragraph group, there is a small icon in the right corner, a small arrow there that is called uh, dialog launcher. Click on the dialog launcher here. Once you click dialog launcher, then you have a box there, paragraph box. The name of the box is paragraph. Right. In this paragraph box, you have a uh, few, uh, several uh, sections, general, indentation, spacing like that. Uh, go to the spacing section. In the spacing section, you have before, after, line spacing like that options. Here, you want to select, you are going to change the line spacing. Line spacing. Click on the, uh, there is a drop-down box in front of the line spacing. Click on the small arrow. Once you click on there, then you can see all the line spacing options available. Then how many types of line spacing here? Uh, here you are having five, single, 1.5, double, exactly, and multiple. These are the default line spacing types. Right? Default, it's set in as single. Now I am going to change it. Here I am selecting double line. Now I am going to change the line spacing double. Therefore, click on the double here. Right? Then if you want to do some custom that you are on, one, then you can uh, set the line spacing by clicking uh, the numbers in this box here. Right. Here, select the required uh, line spacing type, double, and click OK. Click OK button. Right. Now, you can see all the uh, these input devices having, uh, having a uh, line spacing between each uh, input devices. Right. Then it is attractive than the previous one. That's the way of how uh, they're doing the line spacing. Right. Then uh, bullet, if you want to change the bullets, bullet type, then select the list again. Go to the bullet. Bullet is available under paragraph group. At the top corner, this is the area you can find the bullets. Click on the small arrow. Now you can change the icon, right? That way you can change it. Then if you want to insert numbers instead of bullet, then again, select the list, go to the number area, number area, number uh, available again in the paragraph group, in the paragraph group, in front of the bullet, having the number, numbering. Click on the small arrow in the numbering. Now select the style which you want to apply. Uh, suppose this one. Right. In that way, uh, you can insert the uh, numbers also. Right. Uh, then if you like, you can add your... Uh, that's actually... Uh, look at the number types available here. Right. Here, the default styles, you can straight apply one of the default styles here. But if you want to create your own style, by clicking the bullets and numbering here, you can make your own style. Right? You can uh, create your own styles also. Right? That is uh, important. Also, you can set the colors. Right? Colors for the... Uh, numbers or bullets by clicking the customize by clicking the customize here uh, you can make your own uh, bullets for this purpose right? you can make suppose for example you want to make uh, this icon as the bullet then 
select this icon, click OK button. Right. Now you can see the newly created one. Select the newly created one and click OK. Right. That's your own created bullet. Right. Suppose uh, another example, I am going to show it again. First, you want to select the list. Uh, go to the bullet or numbers, either one. Bullet or number, I am going to select in the numbering part. Click on the small arrow. These are the uh, default style. Now you are going to create your own one. Click uh, the bullet and numbering at last. Now you can see the small box bullet and numbering. Right. Here you are going to click your own one. Select the bulleted. Right. There are say, two tabs under bullet and numbering in this box. You are having two tabs, bulleted and numbered. Select the bulleted part. Select the bulleted part. Then click the customize. Before that, you if you want, you can uh, change the color. Customize. Then you can select the icon which you like uh, to use as a bullet. Uh, suppose this one, this icon here. Click on the icon which you like and click OK button. Now you can see the icon. Then you can uh, change if, uh, the color if you want. And click OK button. Right. Now you can uh, create your own style of bullet. Right. This is the way how you can insert bullets and numbers for your presentation.